Hi everyone, it's Heather at Little Bird Live. A little while ago I posted a video showing how the um, the body on this doll originally appeared to be impacting on the eye mechanism uh, when I got her and it was stopping her eyes from changing. So I changed out the body to a lycra body and she loves being like this and I, I think it's a really good look for her. But um, I'm not pleased with her scalp particularly because it's got that white paint on it which is a look I don't like. So I posted a video asking your opinion what colour scalp should she be what hair should she have um, and um, I'm about to count up the votes um, but I'm fairly sure that the majority went for the duck egg blue wig now um, I've never stuck a wig onto a doll before obviously she could in theory just have her hair up and just wear it on the top but I don't want to do that and I've seen I've actually got a doll that's got a wig that is stuck to the scalp I didn't do it myself but she has got one on there and um, I've got some scalps um, so I thought I would give it a go and see um, how I could do it myself so I'm going to use this wig and I'm going to attach it to a scalp um, I've got some cool cast scalps um, but I had a bold scalp attached to a dome um, and what I've done is just cut round that to remove that and that's quite a nice fit um, and that colour's not far off from the colour she's wearing at the moment so I'm probably going to attach it to this. Now rather than just gluing it I'm thinking I might sew it on so that's what is going to be happening I think today so for, for now I'm just going to remove her blonde hair I'm going to take that hair off. So first of all I'll undo her screws in her face plate. Where's that gone? There we are. Yeah, I better take her hair out actually because her pull ring is attached to her hair at the moment. I'll just remove that out. You see her hair's got a little bit matted in play anyway. So it needs a bit of a spa treatment if it was to go back on. Oops, another doll. Oops, I do So let's remove go, move that back plate and I'm going to have to, we'll keep her eyes in I think if possible, save messing around, just trying to get my screwdriver into the screw hole the screw for the um, scalp so I'll use my pliers to turn that screwdriver it's quite, oh, quite tight be sufficient. There we go to remove the scalp. Super duper. So there's her scalp and uh, this is the dome that I'm going to be using which is very similar. So just pop that to one side and consider possibly removing that scalp. Might 
don't know whether it's because I quite fancy dyeing a scalp because I've not done one and I have got some rip dye and I saw a tutorial on it so I might save that just to, to dye and just have a practice with that um, but I don't like the the white the painted white so I might have to use some acetone to try and remove that and I'm not sure how easy that would be to do because it's absolutely well obviously they're painted before they root it don't they so anyway I'll do something with that it won't get wasted okay so um, what I'm going to do now is just put it to one side um, and then put I don't know whether to I might put a dome back on if I put the dome back on now I can literally stick that glue that on I've never glued a scalp on a dome before either um, so I'm going to have to think carefully about the glue that I use. I don't know whether super glue would be acceptable, so I'll just double check on that. But if I, I'll keep that, I'll put the scalpless dome back on the dolly. So she's actually got she's back together, and then I think I'll put the body back on. So she's sort of almost back together and then it'll be easier just to plonk the scalp on top she says in all confidence okay just tightening up that screw so that's fine oh I'm getting myself in a tangle here aren't I oh my word sort oh. yourself out lady They're crisscross, that's funny, isn't it? That's all right, that's it, perfect. Okay, so let's just pop that like that so we're sort of closer. And pop her neck back into its position. wiggle but let's pop her screws back in Oops. Okay, magnetic screwdrivers very helpful screw in there. Check her eye neck works okay in a second. And I've clipped her in place. So just tighten up the screws a little bit. There we go. So the side seam is just clicks back into place. Tighten this one up a bit more. It will go in, I just need a couple of moments to fiddle around with it. Anyway, I'll sort that out later off camera in case she shoots across and um, disturbs people. Anyway, so she's pretty much back together, I just need to sort that side seam out. Um, 
do her eyes work okay? Pop your head back the right way round. That clicked nicely. There we go, untangle you. That's a problem with the heavier pull cords. They do tend to get entangled a bit. Oh, beautiful. So she's all back together again. Working nicely. Eye mech. Beautiful. Oh, you little sweetie pie. And a little tilt neck. Seems fine. So I just need to sort that side seam out. So, she's back together. I'm now going to... I'll stop the video while I get my resources ready. And I will be sewing this onto the scalp ready to stick onto her there so I'm sure she will look absolutely delightful okay so I've got a few resources here don't worry she her side seam is fine both sides she clicked straight back into place as soon as she was off camera um, so I've got some really thick sewing thread this is actually for leather um, you could use crochet um, thread as well I think I didn't have quite the right shade but I, you know what I'm sure this will be fine so I'm going to give it a go um, and I've got a very large needle from my speciality kit which is an upholstery needle or well, it could be the one for canvas actually thinking about it um, anyway so and that's really sharp and it goes through the, the scalp rubber scalps really well so I've just tried that so her hair needs taming her new hair needs taming now the person who made the wig has put a back and a front so a little a b and an f so i know which is the front but it's so unruly so i'm going to get some water i'm just going to try to tame it down a bit because it's everywhere at the moment and it's absolutely beautiful I think it's going to look really cute on really, but to actually physically do anything with it, I've got to, I've got to do something to stop it from flapping about. So, a little bit of water, I thought, yeah, sort of weighs it down a little bit, and that will. Um, I think maybe if I could just tie up. The sides into ponytails. Now I've got to be careful not to warp the shape of it when I do this because I need still need it to be the right shape so it's not bumpy. So we'll see how we go. I might have to take these out. Uh, it's warping it quite a bit because it's not particularly long hair. I'll try it anyway. I checked the votes, it was definitely the blue wig that won. There was just one person who suggested the pink. I really like the pink as it happens. I love dolls with pink hair. Um, but I think it's exciting to try something a bit different. So I'm happy to go with the, uh, I think it's mohair wig. I mean, it looks cute already, doesn't it? Look at that. Cute. Super cute. So, that's the front, that's the back, make sure I've got my uh, scalp the right way round, in fact what I might do is just mark on there the sharpie. Just go right and B. There we go. Probably going to end up with purple sharpie all over the place now. So I know front. Let's just try that. Just double check. So front and back. So that's perfect. So that will be really good. So quite, it's not a brilliant matching colour, but to be honest, I think that wig's going to cover most of it. So let's give this a go. It fits quite snugly in there. 
but it's quite large actually. I wonder whether I'm going to end up having to take some of that off. Line up the Fs. Let's just see what that looks like perched on the doll. Nice colour, a bit weird at the moment. We're going to have to do some styling, aren't we? And I may have to trim the mohair wig down a little bit we'll see how it sits in the end i'm thinking i might end up having to take a little bit of that back off anyway for now let's just get some sewing done and see if we can get it in place so here we go with a nice strong thread like i say i've never done anything like this before so this may not be the neatest job i'm used to sewing with cotton obviously and the fibres but um, rubber scalp and mohair is a new one on me maybe double thread maybe a bit too much but we're going to give it a go anyway so let's let's see I'm going to go in I think what I might do is just go from the Let's do the front first. Although, I, oh gosh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's give it a go. Come on, let's just get in there. Right, so I'm actually going underneath the hair first because I don't want my, I don't want my yeah, knot to be causing a problem Ooh, in the scalp when I glue it on. Shouldn't do, but so I've gone into the mohair first, and then we're going ooh, through. The top of the head and down into the scalp. So that's the first. I'm going to go from front to back. I'm literally going to do a running stitch front to back. So I'm going to have to be careful actually. I probably shouldn't have done a double strand of thread but never mind let's get on with this now I'm going to being careful now not to just go over the top of the mohair so I'm going to go underneath the mohair so it isn't so obvious maybe smaller stitches at the top and larger in the scalp is probably the way to go it's, it's less visible but we'll see that was quite a large stitch wasn't it there so probably be able to hide it but not ideal, I'll be honest. Right, I think we'll go for smaller stitches on the top. I'm learning already. Here we go. That's good. And then we'll just do a tiny, try to be careful just to go underneath the mohair. And then just do a tiny stitch. It's far enough away from the first one. The problem with the rubber is if I make a split, clearly that's a stitch that's wasted. There we go, that one's not quite so visible, is it? The other advantage of doing it front to back is that it's going to give her slight parting. So you're gonna you're gonna notice a parting hopefully rather than the so I do quite a big stitch inside. You know, notice the parting rather than the actual thread and I might go in there with a marker similar colour marker to colour the thread perhaps if it's too visible so let's take that underneath no hair small as possible big enough not to split the rubber. There we go.
okay I've managed to snap the thread I don't have to sort that out but that's the middle that's the middle of the wig done I can probably fluff that up so it's not so noticeable so that's the middle done now that's pretty pretty robust to be fair obviously the sides now need doing so what I'm going to do is take a few stitches and just put a few stitches around it so it's secure so what I will do I think separate these strands because that's worked out quite nicely actually the fact that it's it's broken so we thread that sewn the wig on. If you can see I've literally gone um, front to back and then I've gone round um, by using the, because uh, I did a double thread to start with, uh, that thread then snapped rather conveniently to give you the idea to sew both sides round the edge. And that's actually pretty secure to be fair. That's, that's going nowhere. Um, so the next stage is, uh, I tied those two threads together by the way because they, when they're glued um, onto the scalp that, that will be fine obviously you're not going to see that. So that's pretty sturdy, um, it's quite a nice shape. So what we're going to do now is we'll get the little darling, this out of the way, so we're going to drench her. scalp and I'm going to glue that in place and I'm just going to do a little bit of research first to double check the glue that I'm able to use but I think that that is going to be great because the scalp fits really nicely it's pretty snug I've just got to make sure that I move that hair out the back of it as I'm doing it and make sure I don't glue the uh, <laughs> the threads uh, for her, her pull cords rather, her pull ribbons. So that's what I'm going to do next and I shall show you the finished article when it's done. So back in a moment. Okay I'm back and it's on. I have glued the scalp on. Now with hindsight um, I think, although I was slightly worried that I wouldn't be able to get the 
that it would be a bit of a pain putting the scalp and the dome on with all this hair all over the place. But with hindsight actually I probably should have glued it when it wasn't on the doll because now I'm slightly worried that uh, taking the dome off the face blade could well be difficult if I've got any glue on the rim. Could have happened. Now I don't actually intend to open the doll again because her eyes are fixed. I like her eyes, I like her face, I like her body. Um, so everything's pretty much as it should be, but you always need the option, don't you? So I don't know that, but that's just in hindsight, possibly gluing the scalp on a dome when it's not physically on the, um, the doll is an idea. So here we go, here's the beautiful little girl. She's now got gorgeous hair um, and I can style that and I'll take some pictures for you but it's not going anywhere the wig's well in place although you can tell it's a wig still because I didn't sew obviously you can't sew quite up to the edge because it was slightly larger than the scalp itself but it's not going anywhere um, it's stuck fast it's well sewn on and it actually makes a really nice um, and really nice hair so I'm really quite pleased with that so um, yeah so that's it so there you go she's got her lovely blue hair now I'll style it and take some photos for you um, she's obviously had too much she's gone to sleep now um, but I think it's lovely it's a good choice um, I quite like the wigs it's an, it's an affordable way of getting a natural fiber hair for your doll a bit unruly um, to tame but it can, you know you can do it in little bunches if you want to so there you go so that's it so thanks for watching thanks for suggesting the blue and um, I look forward to making another video for you if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing and click the notification bell if you'd like to see more dolly videos DIYs and my custom dolls as they come in um, thanks very much for joining me I hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy some dolly fun of your own take care